Hello again. This year's Black History Month has been a bumper one as far as deliberate lies and deceptions go. And I thought the viewers might be interested to, to see how this game is played and why nobody ever challenges the claims made in this country every October. I'll focus on that most popular figure in recent years, a man who has even found his way into history books at school, namely John Blank, the black trumpeter at the court of King Henry VIII. Let's start with a few statements which we can all agree upon. There were a few black people in Tudor England. There were also a few Indians, a few Chinese, a few Arabs, and a few of almost any ethnicity or nationality you care to mention. A lot of these people were sailors and travellers. Few of them lived in England for long. The first record of John Blank is from 1507, and the last is four years later in 1511. He was not a black Briton. He probably came to this country from Portugal, where many black people lived at that time. It's likely that he stayed in England for a few years and then returned to his own country, just as most Indians, Arabs and Chinese people did at that time. We can be pretty sure that there were no more than a tiny handful of black people in England during the Tudor period, because a woman called Miranda Kaufman wrote a book called Black Tudors, the Untold Story, a few years ago. Once you take away all the people she mentions who were from other countries, along with those who were from North Africa but were not black and so on, she was, after extensive research, able to identify only six black people who were actually living in England for most of their lives during the 16th century, the time of the Tudors. Of course, if somebody wished to write a book called Indian Tudors, or Chinese Tudors, or something, they would almost certainly be able to track down just as many people of that ethnicity as well. But of course, nobody is really interested in Chinese people living in Tudor England, are they? You could, of course, do the same thing in the 17th century as well, if you were minded to do so. There were certainly black people visiting England at that time and staying for a few years, just as there were Chinese people doing the same thing. The thumbnail to this video shows a Chinese man called Shen Fu Tsung. Like John Blank, he came to England, lived here for a few years, and then went off to another European country. He came to England in 1685 and spent a few years at Oxford cataloguing the Chinese books there. Here is a curious point, though. John Blank, the Blank trumpeter, who came to live in England for a few years in 1507, is very famous. And we see his picture all over children's books, and it is especially seen during Black History Month. Shen Fu Tsung, the Chinese scholar who came to England in 1685 for a few years, is on the other hand completely unknown, and nobody has ever heard of him. Why should this be? This pattern is repeated throughout British history today. In Victorian England, there was a very small number of black people and a similarly typed tiny number of Chinese people. There were more Indians than there were either black people or Chinese, and there were also Arabs. The only minority, though, that we hear about are the black people who were around at that time. When the BBC recently made a new version of Great Expectations, it was inevitable that they would give leading roles, characters like Estella and Jaggers the lawyer, to black people rather than Chinese people. Why is that? There was in fact an established Chinese community living in London in the 19th century. Almost certainly there were more Chinese people in England than there were black ones. This then is how the black history racket is worked. There were no more black people in Britain during the Tudor period, the 17th century or the Victorian era, than there were Indians or Chinese, but only black people from those periods are of any interest. Obviously, viewers will say to themselves that this is because there is a Black History Month and there is not an Indian History Month or a Chinese History Month. 
But actually, why is that? Plenty of noteworthy Indians have lived in Britain and contributed to world history. We think, for example, of Gandhi, who lived in this country for three years during the 1880s while he studied law. Is he as worth celebrating as John Blank, the trumpeter? If we are going to celebrate people belonging to ethnic minorities who have lived in Britain, then I cannot really see why it should only be black ones. Personally, I think that the achievements of Mahatma Gandhi and Shen Fu Tsung are just as important, and yet they seemingly do not count, which is odd. In the description to this video, I give links to the Wikipedia pages for Shen Fu Tsung and Gandhi. Have a look at them and ask yourself if these two men deserve to be as well known as John Blank the Trumpeter. Then ask yourself why the image of John Blank is a familiar one, but that of Shen Fu Tsung is not.